Welcome to our podcast. In this episode, we uncover the mystery of Greenland's hidden ice quakes. Scientists, for the first time, have recorded thousands of tiny ice quakes that are sporadically shaking the Greenland ice sheet. The study noted that these weak quakes are taking place deep within the ice streams, triggering one another and propagating over distances of hundreds of meters. Ice quakes, similar to earthquakes, are seismic events that can happen in ice when it fractures and two slabs press against each other. Scientists have said that these ice quakes might provide deeper insights into the pattern in which the island's frozen rivers move downstream towards the sea. The study said that this previously unknown phenomenon will change the way experts document ice melt and rising sea levels which is important to understanding changing climate and global heating. Greenland's ice sheet is the second largest body of ice globally, which covers around 80% of the island's surface. Experts have estimated it to be approximately 1.67 kilometers thick on average. It reaches up to 3 kilometers at its thickest point. This massive ice sheet has been around for at least 18 million years. To conduct the study, Researchers lowered a fiber optic cable into a 1.7 mile deep borehole in the Northeast Greenland ice stream, which is Greenland's largest frozen river. The study, titled Hidden Cascades of Seismic Ice Stream Deformation, was published in the journal Science and was conducted by a team of researchers led by ETH professor Andreas Fichtner. In a statement, the researchers said that ice quakes in Greenland have gone undetected until now because they are blocked from reaching the surface by a layer of volcanic particles buried 2,950 feet beneath the ice. These volcanic particles originated from a massive eruption of Mount Mazama in what is now Oregon some 7,700 years ago. We were astonished by this previously unknown relationship between the dynamics of an ice stream and volcanic eruptions, Fichtner said, as quoted in the statement. The study's co-author, Olaf Eisen, a professor of glaciology at the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research in Germany, said in the statement, The fact that we've now discovered these ice quakes is a key step towards gaining a better understanding of the deformation of ice streams on small scales. The assumption that ice streams only flow like viscous honey is no longer tenable. They also move with a constant stick-slip motion, Fischner noted. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.